So we're going to show you an example of how the mobile web is evolving. What we are about to show you is a preview which Warner Brothers and the developers at North Kingdom have put together for the upcoming Hobbit movie. And we're going to, Ken is going to help me with this. We're going to get this up on screen. This is running on a pixel right now. And as you can see, you know, this is what the web shines for. You know, they want a trailer. They want a preview for their movie. You're not going to write an app and get everyone to install an app on every one of their devices. You write a web experience, and you expect people to use it independent of the device they have. So it's on a pixel. Thanks to HTML, 3D CSS, you can see it works great. Can can touch and move around. The clouds look great. And it works really well. So far, not that surprising. But we're going to switch now from a Chromebook pixel to a tablet. And we're going to show Chrome running on Nexus 10. And you can see there is no difference in the experience. A lot of what we're going to talk about today is the same capabilities which you're used to on the Chrome on desktop are all coming to Chrome on Android. So it feels exactly the same way you would see on a Pixel on an Nexus 10 as well. Let's dive in deeper. Ken is going to start playing a game on the Nexus 10. And this game, I guess the goal of this game is to for the hobbits to avoid being eaten by the trolls. Uh, There's a new game upcoming. It is a 3D game, and it's based on WebGL. Can we get the game up on screen? You can see it there. And we are running this again on Chrome on Nexus 10. And the reason we are able to play this game is thanks to WebGL. You will, this wasn't possible on the web last year. And you will hear the search team. OK, so we have it up and running now. Can's goal is to avoid the trolls and uh, not be eaten for dinner uh, as a hobbit. I guess he lost very, very quickly there. Uh, look, WebGL you know, is something new to Chrome, and it makes this experience possible. You will see Google Maps team talk later in the presentation about how they're using WebGL. Let's show you one more thing. We're going to zoom in the map in Middle Earth in a place called Rivendell. And Can is, again, all this is happening on mobile, Chrome on mobile. Can is going to start swiping his way through, thanks to web audio APIs. As he gestures around on his touch screen, the music changes. And, and you can see how the experience is very interactive. This is touch and web audio APIs working together on the web. I think you can really start doing creating powerful experiences on the web and increasingly run it on phones and tablets. And we are making a lot of progress there. So Racer is a multiplayer, multi-screen experiment, and all you need to play is Chrome. Regardless of device, Android or iOS, phone or tablet, you just need to click a link and get started. So we've asked some volunteers to come help us show it off. So while they're coming up, why don't we take a closer look at the devices here? We have a ringer on the team. This is Arno Weber, who manages the uh, Chrome mobile team. He's an actual race car driver. We'll see how he does in the electronic form. So, so this game is, uh, is a simple little racing game. I don't know if you remember little slot car racing games when you were a kid. You pull the trigger, zoom around the track. But if you go too fast, the car spins out. That's essentially what these guys are going to be trying to do. So are we ready to switch to the overhead? Thanks. So Ken, take it away. Okay, so this game is really simple. Um, once I start the game, all you have to do is press down to accelerate and let go to decelerate. Basically, when you go around the uh, corners, you don't want to be going too fast. So I'm going to start a race here, and I'm going to join it from these devices. OK, let me click Start. You know, you guys look like professionals, so. I'm going to click Ridiculous. No. We're going to go Ridiculous on this one, guys. I predict lots of cars will fly off the yeah. track. All right. Um, so are you going to pick your cars. Are you going to use this one? OK. Then I, I'm going to use the iOS device. And uh, 
Uh, tap when you're ready. Let's get this game started. You, you might not want to hold on yet. <laughs> get a little ahead of Set. ourselves. Go. All right. Oh, the first oh, no. car is spinning off. Uh. Now, this game is running on Google Compute Engine, and it's able to keep all the different devices in sync using WebSockets. No, it's not running into me. And it uses web audio as the sound transitions between all of the different devices. Ah. Uh. Oh, someone's made it around full lap. Lab. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna win. Come on. I didn't practice all these days. This is just as hard as I remember those little racing games as a kid. Yes. Whew. <laughs> that was a close one. You can keep this. Two people. Are you guys giving up? Still two people are not finished. There's still two people out there? That's all right, it's all right. There I think we got who, enough. Who came we got in the first. point. Ken. Yes. Congratulations. He's been practicing this all week. <laughs> yeah. 